You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. Oh, fuck. <laughs> now, nah, Benny's, a, Benny's like, a beast. Doing stuff, the butcher coming, nigga. He's a I, beast. Conway the Machine. Oh, yo, Conway Benny's got one of the top five uh, taglines. Oh, yeah. The butcher coming. The butcher coming, nigga. That's shit, and there's nothing like it's fantastic. And the more you listen to Griselda, the more you love their whole like, right? mob story shit. Like it's Conway. all like old mafia flicks, like we love. So it's like that, it's, yo, that Conway verse on that Jadakiss shit. Oh, the new album. Yeah, it's it's uh, yo. He's been his his feature on Royce's, his feature on there. I'm here. Right? For it. I'm I here for that it. shit back. I was I like, hold on. It. Yeah, he's been he's been snapping, and it was crazy it's for him to like snap on a project like Jada's or like a project like Royce's, and you run his shit back over theirs. That's crazy. He raps so simple compared to them. Yeah, yep. but that shit hit. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the details yeah. are different, and you bro. just see his face like talking from the side and all the bullet holes and shit. You feel it. You're like, yeah. But anyways. I don't know what episode this is. I don't think I need to announce it. Anymore. 88. Is it? That's a good It's a good year. It's the year your boy. Ocho, bro. Ocho, nigga. Hey. Hey. 88. Episode 88. Yeah. Huh? John D. Contradiction. We got Walko just playing the sounds of his people right now. And we got Barrett <laughs> with the starter yeah. locks going on right now. Represent. We hey, got the baby ready? locks. Yeah. Hey. I feel gang you. gang in March, too. I feel you, know. man. <laughs> He looked like he just came from football practice, but um, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. Nothing wrong with that, man. We, but yeah, let's get into this, man. We had a solid week. I mixed it up. It was a, you know, it, it's been a nice mix. When I've been scheduling them, I've been making sure it's not all red and all that. But we are getting to the point where these are ninety percent mine. But that's all right. I've been, I have had time. You know, this coronavirus shit just giving me time at work. But um. First project we started off with was hot garbage. This was Big Bad Nar shit too. Oh, right? yeah. Nar shit and Germ. Was... He's not Lil this... Nar anymore. God damn. <laughs> oh, is that the same dude? Yeah, same dude. It's trash. Nar it's so bad, bro. It's I'm bad. not here for it. It's not good. It's fucking boring. It's <laughs> trash. Like this is the one with all the um auto tune. Oh my god, yeah. Right? All that terrible new age shit. Oh my god. It's not good. No, not even remotely. Yeah. I didn't even listen to the whole thing. I wanted to puke. Oh my through. god. It's it, I was just like, come on, for a five song project, I shouldn't hate it this much. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just like, come on. Like is this is really what this is really what the kids asking for? <laughs> this is what they want. You know what's cra- you know what's crazy? I I'm gonna go into a nice old hedge spiel. <sighs> Remember when, remember when, like, Fire albums came out? Like, when we was in high school, and we went to FYE or Coconuts, whatever it was called back in the day, whatever we yeah. were, wherever y'all bought CDs from, and you bumped the shit, and you couldn't wait to go to school and, like, tell people, or you when you heard somebody drive by bumping it, you're like, oh, that's the same shit I just bought. There's no way this music is that now. <laughs> nope. First off, they're not buying shit. They're just streaming it. But still, it's like, just it sounds like a like a he's just like a it's like a clone, just like a clone <sighs> shit. It's so bad, bro. I was just like, yo, there's no way. Like, if I see kids walking home from school, like hyped about this, this is where you just hit them. This is where you just veer off and you just <laughs> yeah. start collecting points. <laughs> yeah, you just like, collect points. You know, you go to the beat. They gotta die for the rest of us to live. That's oh how you gotta look God, at it. God, it's crazy. Hey, hey Barrett, fix the cat door. I can hear him slapping that shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't even hear that, but there you go. It sounds it sound like zombies trying to break through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. But yeah, this fucking project, everything's bad. The names of it, Perk Three Hundred. Oh my god. Yo, and the cover is low key fire. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. My man's holding a fireball. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, it's not good. This is nope. some terrible fucking young, stupid new age bullshit. I'm not not okay with it. I'm not okay with this like new age shit. Like this is trash. It yeah, basically, I, I don't know why, but I remember when like when Nas dropped Godson, and I was like, bro, I remember losing it. I broke that whole uh, project yeah. down, all the science behind it. When he said kick in the door, that Biggie wrote that wasn't for Pac, it was for him. I was like, this is the best shit in history. What are kids getting out of this project? It's the same. It's 
I don't understand most of this shit because it's the same shit over and over again. Yeah, like you can't be hyped like, oh, Lil Nar said he fucked your bitch, bro. Like, woo! Uh, he said he got codeine. Oh, <laughs> that's fire! Like, that's nothing new to that. That's, that's fucking that poor stupid. Poor leader. <laughs> yeah, he said yeah like twelve times, nigga. You hear that? <laughs> but anyways, next project, some old head shit that I like. This was this- um. Audio murals by Mayhem of EMS and Recognize Real. This is the one me and you were listening to outside. Yeah. Of this this is, album slaps. This album slaps. This just raps. It's a lot yeah. of raps. Is it, is it just me? Is it almost feel too long though? Yeah, yeah. There yeah. was because right? you know what it is. Oh, it's already two of them. But when they would have like two or three fucking features, it would literally be like a five feature, four feature song. And yeah. they're already spitting like long 16s. So it's exactly. like, exactly. Yeah, you got fucking 90 beats per minute with like long ass 16s and then like eight bar hooks. Like, come on. Like, yo, bro, this shit is going on forever. <laughs> oh yo, my God, there's another prepping. Yo, <laughs> yo, but that Sky Zoo feature, Sky Zoo. So. When I bumped this project and I did the review, I listened to Sky Zoo for three days straight after. <laughs> yeah. He's the fucking I, truth. This project was nice as fuck, too. Yeah, it was a good time. It has some really good features on here. It had uh, Big Pooh was on here. He fucking did his thing. Um, there was a lot, a lot going on on here, man. I was really, really, really cool with this. Only thing that I had an issue besides it being a little long was um, some of the hooks were just a little lazy. Yeah, they weren't like you know, and the song will be way too fire. Have too many raps to have. I feel just like, like old head rappers always have a hard time with hooks. <laughs> they just triple their shoot. vocals. <laughs> That's why they rap so hard. <laughs> you know, facts because they know they can't make up with a hook. That's probably why they hate all the new age cats because new age cats have hooks, just yeah. can't rap. They got just hooks but no bars. Join together, you know. <laughs> join facts. together. Put the new age caps yeah. on the fucking. On the hooks and let the rappers rap. Fact. You know who figured it out? Uncle Murder. That last project, he had a bunch of new age dudes do his hooks. And, yeah. and Uncle Facts. Murder did he got to rap all he wanted. He had Tory Lanez come on in. And Tory Lanez go rap. That was wild. I couldn't believe it. yeah, I couldn't believe that he, he had Tory Lanez on that shit. And it was clean. That song was clean. That song was dope. But um then we posted some more self savior shit. Um then we had uh Salute to Self Savior. I saw him make a spicy post talking about he's the best artist in New York New York. Okay. Yeah. I see yeah. you. I like that. Uh, I know you not, but I like that. Keep it, you know, believe what you believe, man. Yeah, do you, dog? In fact, I wanted There's to be an astronaut when I was younger. That's, a, that's like, yo, that's a you know tall order. <laughs> that's like just walking into UFC headquarters and be like, I could kick everybody's ass. <laughs> not even like <laughs> announcing your weight class. Just, I fuck anyone up in here. What up? <laughs> I fuck you weigh you a mama, buck. Yeah. Fuck you <laughs> While you're a buck thirty, and it's a heavyweight conference going on, niggas is two seventy five. Fuck it. They black belt in jujitsu for six years. It's <laughs> gonna strangle your ass. Fact. You've been in one prison fight. Yeah. Effor- effortless. <laughs> effortlessly take your soul from your body, nigga. But uh, so next project was uh, Grandma's Boy by Desi Hollow. So this project. When I saw it, I was like, what's going to happen? Because the cover, I was like, I don't know what's going on, but he got a basketball in his hand, so I'm here for it. Ball is life. I feel like he was doing the J. Cole. A whole, the whole project. The whole project. I loved it. Because <laughs> he don't sound like J. Cole, but he was doing no, the J. But, Cole. Oh, the yeah. cover. Oh, I thought you were talking about the his smooth too. shit. I thought you were talking no, about his smooth shit. It yeah. fits, though. Yeah, it yeah. Fits. Yeah. It all fits. Yeah, it does. It does. He was doing some J. Cole shit. It was a lot of smooth shit. The beats were real smooth. He was he was going off. I was really into it. He could he could make some music. He had different bags, too. He had flows. He had hooks. He had all sorts of singing. He could get serious. I was fucking with it. This is like a complete project, and it's not that long. It was 11 tracks. I think it ran at like 30-something minutes, like 32 minutes. If yeah. he puts out a song about getting boners in class, then we know. <laughs> you know, somebody, what? somebody, J. Cole, someone posted a meme, and they were like, "Yo, J. Cole really talked about Kaepernick on a song where Miguel was talking about fucking bitches." <laughs> and I was crying. That's J. Cole, bro. That's, yo, that's big energy, bro. Big fucking move, bro. You got to do uh, what you got to do. Yeah, I know you won't fuck these bitches, but I'm woke right now, nigga. Wake I up. I got a message. <laughs> you know, I'm going to fucking learn these bitches. <laughs> Facts. But uh, this project was super solid, man. I was really into the fucking title track because title tracks are supposed to be fire. Right. <laughs> They're supposed to be. It's the name of your project. They're supposed to be fire. They're not supposed to be throwaways. 
But um, it was going in and out of bags. It was either smooth or fire, and it was going back and forth. It was fucking me up. So I really <laughs> fucked with this project. This is one of those random like iTunes just look through the release like new releases. But I was here for it. Just man. pops up. Yeah, I was I was very much here for it. It only had like two features. Um, the first feature was whatever, and then the second one was um was I it was I too. But it it was it's a solid project overall. Like I fucked with it heavy. It, it damn near got an eight for me if it wasn't for that opening track being weak because opening tracks are supposed to be type dope too. I never heard of this guy before either. Me neither. So. Me neither. And I was like, I-, I could look out for this dude. I'm not mad at it. So then we had um the next one was Lost Kings by the God Fahim. Is this guy somebody? He is somebody. He I don't. Is somebody. I I can't offer. Just not my body. If you got if you got Vinny Paz on your project, you is somebody. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. He, I it's it's let the let the underground gods kill me. But I know the name, but I I couldn't tell you right now. This, That's what I'm saying. I've never. I don't know if I've ever heard of this dude yeah. before. But um, God, it, it was it was okay. Hell of a uh, name. It was it. It had moments where it was a little little bit slow, and that was my issue. Like sometimes I was kind of like, and you know, you can you can I review these at work. It'd be early. It'd be like seven, eight, nine ish. And I was just like, <clears throat> I was like those, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? You know what I'm saying? Like this is a little bit boring. But it had moments like it was smooth. The production was clean, sometimes a little too slow, too. So those songs weren't really talking to me that much. Mm-hmm. And his flow, like on top of a slow beat could kill, bro. It was just like I'm dying right now. But other than that, like a lot of it came together, too, because sometimes I do like that slow flow shit. But um, I feel like it was tiptoeing on a fucking uh, on a, on a on lemon. lemon yeah, though. It was it was definitely if it wasn't for Paz waking it up <laughs> and fucking Mac Homie getting going in on it. I don't know, maybe. But um. It was cool though. Like it was overall, it was okay. It was better. I liked it more than I didn't like it. Like when I was awake, it was cool. It was a lemon for me. <laughs> it was good, but I was just like Rion put me to sleep, and I was like, I'm yeah. done with this shit. I yeah. was like literally, and then like I had to come back to it and start listening to it again. And I was like, Nah, it's good, but like right in that middle, I had to take like a three hour. Break. <laughs> you had to take a break. Yeah, you was like, <laughs> Oh my god, bro, and his flow yeah, never I don't changed. Almost come back to it. Yeah, yeah, that pa- that pass song maybe, but that's about it. But um, then we um we dropped our interview with the homie from uh from Bama. We had Jarl Farl on here and his uh his producer of his last project, Jay Way. So that was cool having them come on here. They chopped it up with us. They were they were dope. They were actually pretty cool. Yeah, nice. they were cool. It was chill. Yeah, it was a nice interview. He just Good actually interview. gave us a new new project, so we might be dropping that soon. Boy, that you. shit fucking. I was. <laughs> Country as fuck, I'll tell you yeah, what. Yeah, you said country as uh, fuck. No, no spoilers. <laughs> my boy's tossing out all kinds of slang. <laughs> I'm here for that. I want to not know what's going on. Just yeah, you're going to be like, you're going to need a dictionary. You're going to be like, oh, fuck the phone. It's a fucking... What are you saying to me? <laughs> it's just the sausage gravy recipe and shit on it. But um, <laughs> so, so the next project was Talk That Talk by Light Skin Keisha. This one oh, got some yeah. huge comments. Yo, I was just about you. Yeah, fuck the project, bro. The comments got wild. What? So this is one. She got some big ass. Hey, I went to her page. I was like, damn, Lex can keep your bed. Some, some tiggles. <laughs> Tiggle bitties. But um, Yo. <laughs> this project is whack. This project is, is trash. I hate it. It was like very boring. It's, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> I said her fucking beats Middle sound like they're made with kids. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the pussy this is the pussy raps that's not talking money. They're not yeah, talking money figures. This? You know what I'm saying? They're they're hum- they're humbled. <laughs> they're yes, humbled. Uh, yeah, I got she's like, yo, I got I got some okay pussy. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pussy you know, know, I probably you know, get like two hundred dollars a night in tips. A <laughs> Yeah. Nobody complains. <laughs> One trip room in my life. <laughs> yeah. The most I get from a sugar daddy is fast food. Like, it's one of those. <laughs> Yo, my sugar daddy takes me for a four piece and a water cup. <laughs> no ice. One nigga. time he got me butterfly nuggets and I love it. And then it. we go for a walk around the park. <laughs> I have yet to meet his kid. But um, it's one it's one of those type of things, you know what I'm saying? It was very weak. The beats were were garbage. I hated. It. I was like, this is trash. And I said, it felt like she, yeah, I fucked her. I was like, she was chewing gum the entire. Did she block us? I'm. If she didn't, I'm glad because this is not Let's a see. nice. This is not a nice review. Good, we're good. We're, she has almost two million followers. 
But um, she's, these comments she's, got. She's just gonna. She's just gonna ignore us. Oh, good. Yeah, good. I'm. I'm okay with that. But um, Paul Goon versus China Streets, boy. Yo, facts. <laughs> so one Paul Goon pulled. He pulled like the rude white guy card. You know what I'm saying? Like the ang- the angry. The angry white dude in school who's just like, every girl's a slut, like, because they don't want to send a titty picture. How dare you show me your Yeah, titty. you know, just upset for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> just hit. And, like, he just got super tested, and China, China wasn't having it. <laughs> but he wasn't having it. They went at it. Bro. <laughs> went at it, bro. Yo, let's be, let's keep it a book. Like, I'm looking at, like, Skin Keisha's uh, Instagram right now. Yeah. And it's not even that lewd. No, it isn't. It really is. I mean, there's a couple twerking videos on here and shit, you know. But he, 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 all it took was one for him to be like, nope. He was upset. Like, we've seen crazier. Even what's funny is like, yeah, like, who can, this is the world we live in now. Like, if you're still upset about it, then you. She can't rap, but. Yeah. She got a nice ass. Bad, though. (laughs) Yeah. Like, let it go, man. This is the equivalent to being upset with, like, interracial relationships still, you know? Like, let it go. Yeah, we flamed her already. You don't need to flame her for all <laughs> a woman. Dude, did you my this is how crazy it is, because I love the comments. I like when it gets spicy. My response was so real. I just went, jeez. <laughs> like I didn't even get into it. Whoa. Because I was like shocked. Cause like I'm like, oh, Paul Goon probably like cracked the joke, and I see this paragraph he wrote. And I'm like, relax. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, like Jesus. Like and then he went through China's shit, and he he said some slick shit, and I was like, "Relax, bro. Like, get you know, watch Rome Street's give him that that Joker. How you think I got these scars? Yo, facts, shit. son. Like, relax. Yo, you know he's talking to dog. <laughs> Yo, Yo, Rome will cook him in many ways. China would too. And, she could rap and too, actually shit. kill him probably. <laughs> And then really cook them. Yeah. Yeah, like, relax. Like, you know, we like a good roast, but if you're genuinely hurt by, like, just women showing leg, bro, like, all right, bro, get off the internet for a little bit. That's it. You'll be all right. (laughs) I mean, like, you're good. You don't know her. But next project, that shit had me dying, though. But next project got a lemon. This was Finesse Kid by AR. Uh, (laughs) Another one. I'm surprised this was not a stamp. Dude, one... I am very into how symmetrical my emojis are, and I can't stop staring at it. That's OCD. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it started – it wasn't terrible. I don't know what it is, man. Some days, you know, you, I like the weird fucking – the squishy, singing rap rap, and some days I absolutely hate it. And this one was half and half for me. <laughs> it was half and half. It meant in the middle of how he feels about yeah. the singing rap rap. He does day. sound he like was... if a teddy bear could speak, though. But um, it's Oh, fast. my God. <laughs> yeah, I fucked him up. Yeah, it was some just... uh, fucking uh, Sid's toy shit. <laughs> Facts, <laughs> but yeah, this was like this was like I don't know, man. This is TikTok music. That's the new thing now. It's TikTok music, man. Hey, listen, <laughs> I may need you to make some TikTok songs, bro. <laughs> I might have to, bro. So we can pop. They be fucking making a break in people. Over I'll be that shit I'll now. be doing the Renegade to John <laughs> D <Dee> songs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what I th- on TikTok I like the like the terrible remixes of songs. Like when they do like the completely different version of them. Yeah. They, when they are play the like the recorder best. or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's that and then there's that other one. I'm gonna kill myself. Myself. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. Yeah. I forgot the original song, but that version of it is fantastic. But yeah. um yeah, man, this this project was just okay for it. Like it's TikTok music. If you want to listen to some shit that like a sixteen year old is bumping with tears in their eyes type like real genuine <laughs> feels, this is it, man. This is teddy bear music, bro. Hey, um then we bought I feel some stuff more. sometimes. Yeah. Like, they play they play this in packs on <laughs> Yo, yeah. packs. Or um Zoomies. Uh, Spencer's. Spencer's. Yeah. <laughs> the edgy zoomies. Zoomies, man. I used to zoomies. I used to know a squad of zoomies workers and they all sucked. But um Yeah, yep. then we posted some more Jaw Far stuff. You know, we do that promo shit, we get everybody they love. His so then name he, is hard to say when you're drunk. Yeah. He said there's was there an no Yar Yarl Far. That's how he said it. I keep on the Jarl. Yarl Far. Yarl Far. Yarl Far. Yarl Far. You know, he can he can, he's a decent rapper, bro, and he's a good guy. May can need to consider a name change. <laughs> <laughs> 
what but the thing about his name though that I do appreciate it is easy to find him. But saying it's it is easy not. to find him. It's got a good story. Like he's got a, he had a good story. It's a good story. But it's hard to say. It's not yeah, it's not comfortable to say. It's Charles 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 Yeah, it's weird. It's makes me feel like, makes me feel like I'm Amish, like I'm Dutch Amish. <laughs> Hey, I don't brother. Build the barn. It's like a greeting or some shit. But um, <laughs> y'all fall. <laughs> I fucking hate it, bro. But hey, we salute to him. Me. Yeah, we rock with him. So salute to him. But um, <laughs> so the next project is um, this was a special occasion by Mercules. This is um. Hercules, <laughs> that name itself is strong. I, yo, fire name. He's got I, a fucking scar on his face and shit, bro. Yeah. yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's an intimate. Yeah, I like it. I'm here he's for Canadian, it. He's Canadian, though, so you know he's wild polite. Yeah, he got that from like a work accident. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, he got jumped. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, he got fucked up. But yeah, hey, fuck fuck it. he's killing He's killing it now. But he, um, I mean, there's really no way to other way to put it. This is him solidifying his under mainstream spot. You know what I'm saying? Like he's always kind of nice, though. So. He's always been nice, but this is his like, I'm gonna flex. Like I'm gonna put myself up there with like Tech Nine in them. I'm right under, you know, yeah. like Hobson in them. This is him putting himself there. This is um uh, this project's fire. And speaking of that, he had a song with Tech Nine and Hobson. But um this is fire, man. He had some dope features. He had Uncle Murder, Uncle Murder. DMX, Evil Ebenezer, the Young DMX Buck. feature though. DMX snapped. He Merc can rap, but for some reason he let every feature cook him on this. I don't know if he was I think I don't know, man. I feel like he let every feature like snap on him. Because I've heard maybe, Merck snap maybe on people. Maybe he recorded stuff. all his verses first. <laughs> first, and he just oh never went yeah, back. he never went back. Maybe because because he he got cooked like by everyone. Like I'm not yeah, a big I mean, Ritz and Jelly Roll fan. They cooked him. Tech Hop cooked him. Murder cooked him. Paul Wall. Salute to Paul Wall. Still being Listen, nice. Of, uh, yo. Still. Yo, the diamonds in my mouth make you think I got a disco ball in my mouth. <laughs> Oh my God, Paul! Like Wall is, is, that's not remotely how it goes. <laughs> Dive into my mouth, just Paul. <laughs> he tried it though, with confidence. That's why I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> oh my God! But yeah, man, this fucking Woo. this he yo Paul Wall man been been he's been killing it for me, and I fucking I'm, yeah. I fuck with that heavy. But um, DMX snapped. Come on. You gonna tell me Dark Man can't still rap? He's I'm out. Always here. gonna give it to you, dog. No. Always gonna give it to you, bro. He snapped. Everyone snapped on this. Yo, that young buck. Even though Young Buck died, one fifty cent, and that whole training thing happened. He <laughs> still. No. He died. Like, he's he's dead was somewhere. It, wasn't he the one that cried on the voicemail? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And yeah. I, it but, sucks, man. Like any, you know, it's simply on the radio. You, you do shit like that. Any argument where people would say like he was the best out of G Unit is erased. Like it's Mandela <laughs> affected now. Like no one's gonna, <laughs> no one's gonna say that they said that. Like it's gone. They're like no. <laughs> I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying yeah. he looked like when that's what happened. <laughs> but um, yo, this project's fire, man. Mercury's did his thing. It's very solid, man. It's super solid. Yo, I'm here we- for it. Are we gonna get a Hobson album soon? Because he's, he's been, been on a showing bunch of up stuff, a lot of yeah. features. Uh I probably. But only thing is, will it? Will it? What happened to all those Hobson kids? I feel like all those kids that grew up obsessing with him and loving him and all that stuff—they all rap now. We all know that they all rap too fast sometimes. I feel like they're not Hobson fans anymore. If that no, makes that's sense. okay though. I hope he comes out yeah. different. I just feel like he's going to come out and it's not going to be as grand as maybe you would think it would be. I would hope it would be different. Okay. I'm here for it. I like Like, Hobson. uh, I'm here for it. Like Barrett said. I I would hope it would be just different from what he was doing before. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if he has that in his bag. He's got technical skills, so I'd like to see Hobson's him. Ni- I think Hobson's nice when he wants to be. He just had that corny stage where he was like, I'm going to battle rap everyone and blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. But he was depressed and... He's more depressed now. Didn't he have his baby taken from him by that Australian? Yeah. 
Yo, it's so yeah, funny. You listen to Errol Myers too. Yo, it's so funny like, listening to his progress though, because like if you listen to him back in the day, he's always like, "Yo, I love Australia, love Australian girls," and then he like knocks one up, and he's like, "This Australian bitch won't give me my kid." Like you bitch. felt that that like downfall that hurt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got to witness the whole. <laughs> yeah, field. we experienced it with you, sir. That hurt. But um, so this next project was uh, no face, no case. True and Two Chains. This is like um, Two Chains is like it's artists. Crazy. So it's Sleepy Rose, uh, Schooly, um, some guy, One Hot Locked In. I don't, there's a bunch of people. It's it's a whole squad. But oh, this is trash. I didn't like this. Big Two Chains <laughs> is the truth. Period. This hurts me because I love Titty Boy. I love Titty Boy too. He's true, but his artists but are not good. I'm, yeah, it's no, it's no one worth mentioning or worth keeping on this no, album. No. This will not be going on any playlist. None, none. And they, and it had all the the features that did nothing, like people that people know. And Ellie Chopper, trash. No cap, trash. Worst name, Quavo, 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 whatever the fuck you say, trash. <laughs> Like this is just not a good project. There was like maybe two songs, three songs or so in here that I liked because Two Chains had more, you know, just a lot more on it. But um, it's not good. It's fucking. It's it's super. It's a cash grab. He got these kids. He's like maybe you know, stupid kids like these people individually. Let's put them together and see if everyone likes it. Type shit. And they just don't work well together. It's a lot of the same. Sh- you pile on the same shit. Oh. Hook singy rap rap person. Oh wait, singy rap singy rap rap person. Oh, auto tune singy rap singy rap person, and that's your group. Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing. Yeah. I hope everybody brought their pens to class because John D just wrote, just gave you guys the exact formula for making a mainstream hit. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. And then you add two chains to it, and it's a hit. Yeah. To the boy. Yeah, and it's just don't like, forget the ad libs. Oh my god, the ad noises. Ad new age people don't ad lib; they just make noises. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's weird. That's <laughs> weird. I don't know why we don't start like a night your man's like one hundred and one and just teach people how to be trash rappers, and we yeah, can do like a I, lesson. Bro. Might be a good TikTok video idea. Yeah, I'll do the lessons, <laughs> like the the music, like yeah. ding, ding, lesson ding. one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I'll find it. <laughs> but um so this next project yo check your pockets music bro this is rob like get robbed yo, by rob yo Gates. what did i tell you in the last podcast yo yo i said something about this project yo this is look yo. at the, sh- the picture on the cover oh i covered it with a big ass yo. green check but this is an aggressive Whew. yo, yo. mav you ain't had to steal that song like that you ain't had to cook no. food and eat on my man giving you a spot on his album. Facts. You Just ain't have to do that. Shots. Oh, my God. I listened to that Mav verse like 10 times. I was like, wow. Yo, Mav is nice. He is super nice. He did not. Usually, I went at, like any from the cloth, it's usually like, yo, Riggs about to steal this song. Mav stole this fucking album. But this whole project's fire. Riggs fucking obviously is nice on it. Everyone's nice on here. But yo, Math, that verse, that verse, it hurt my soul. It was so far. I listened to it so many times. I was like, this is wild. This project's dope. This project's wild, aggressive. This, rob Gates makes me want to rob people. Yo, this project is like having five stars in GTA, but in real life. <laughs> and then somebody's just screaming at you the whole time, too. <laughs> yo, facts. Yo, let's go, son. Yeah, this is what happens when you have like an extra like 10 mil in GTA Online and you're like, fuck it, I'm about to ruin everyone's day. And Everybody you just start shooting fuck, and using up all, you call down the million dollar laser beam. You fucking up everyone's day. That's for the gamers out there who don't, you know. Just because, just because. There just ain't no because. reason why. Yeah, like, just because you can. The fuck this server. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this shit is aggressive, bro. This project. I was I made the mistake of bumping this in my car and I was doing like a buck and change, bro. I was like, yeah, I was fucking flying. <laughs> Got home in five minutes. <laughs> Fact, forty five minute drive, cut. Kick open the door. Where the coke at? <laughs> yo, this yo, not even open. I kicked down my own door. <laughs> I robbed myself. <laughs> like, Start packing shit in your car like, oh wait. <laughs> oh, the album's finished, my bad. Let me Shit, I start slicing my mattress. <laughs> <laughs> what the money at, son? As soon as oh, I get home, oh, yeah. Oh shit, the album's done. My bed cut the fuck up. <laughs> so um, the next project was uh, "Back on Saratoga" by Stro. That's a, that's a cold name, <clears throat> Stro. I'm into it. That's a cold, cold artist name. But um, 
This project started off a little weak, but then it started to really get fucking good. Like, this shit. He has two bags. One bag is this weird, cocky, like, punchline bag, which wasn't good. It was like corny punches, and it was like relaxed. Yeah, lines. it was. Yeah, facts. But it sounded more like if Cassidy's beats could speak. But it was like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> it was weak. And I was like, all right, you can get this out. It was too confident. It was. It's, it. It sounded like a skinny nigga trying to sound big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you go go scream in the mirror somewhere else. But then when Damn he hit fuck. that other bag where it was that smooth shit. Woo! This project was sliding. I was like, do that. Do that more. Every single smooth track on here hit hard. <laughs> like, they, them shits worked. And that's your bag, bro. Like, I get it. You want to show Stick people who can punch. But, like... It, I don't know. Something about it just wasn't hitting. And that first you song... You gotta stick to what you're good at. Yeah, stick to your guns, man. You know what I'm saying? Stick to your guns. Even if, you know... If I know, I get it. You don't want to be light skinned all the time. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I'm light skinned I mean, all the time too. So you know, nah, I don't know that problem. You know? <laughs> me neither. See Golden me, I do, and it, and it hurts. Yeah. I'm upset with myself. Like I dodge mirrors, but this project, when he hits that smooth shit, fire. He had Dave East just randomly show up on this, and I was like, all right. Yeah, what's that all about? Yeah, whatever. You know, and it's not a good song, but um, do you know somebody or something? Maybe I don't know some label mate shit, or Dave East is just out here. But um, he's on everything too. He's just up on tracks. He's on. He's on he's everything. Out here doing features. Yeah, he's on everything. But um, yeah, this project when this dude hit smooth, it was fire. If you take out all the cocky tracks on here, you got a fire, fire project. But other than that, this is super smooth. Like stay in that bag, bro, or not. You know, live your best life, man. You got that cold ass name. Live it up. So then we had um one project walk up with the with the turnaround with a quickness. This is The League by Lil Bando and Crane. Lil Bando, man. He was one of the first few people we reviewed, and he's still sending us stuff. He still shows yep. love. Salute to him, man. But, How um, did he feel about this, by the way? He gave us he gave us love, man. He sent love and all that. He knows we do what we got to do. Um, and and you, were, you, were, you were dead on the money. Like, this is... <clears throat> uh, it's just the same raps over... You know what I'm saying? Like, it... it is is you damned if you do. If you got a bunch of the same beats, you gotta come mm-hmm. with it with the raps. If you got a bunch of the same raps, the beats gotta come with it. And it's but it's still it's not gonna make the songs great. You know, like every song, like the beats was nice, the quality was nice, everything was nice. There but, was there was consistency missing though sometimes because the beats would be nice on oh, one yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then the vocals would be trash. Yeah. And it was like But and what made it worse is like how can you mess up the vocals on one song if it's essentially the same on every track? Yeah. So it, it's just like, damn. And it sucks because it's like, yo, mix up your flows. Like, try some other stuff. Like, uh, it, it's not that, you know what I'm saying? Like, to hear an artist. Same, I, liked, I liked the concept, though. Like, the yeah. punches they were using and shit. Like, they stayed on subject. It was yeah. all basketball punches. Yep. And, Barry, you, like, you, I, I'm. I'm surprised you didn't like this, but <laughs> basketball punches. Yeah, it ended on a Kobe I'm a song too. Fan. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Go New York and, and it did the, they did the fucking bonus track thing that I hate. Yeah, twice. Hit you this is just twice. an eight track project. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Bonuses. Yes. Why are they bonuses? They're still because the same themes too. It's not like they're different themes. They you were know, it's weird because they were still in the back, and they were like, "Oh <laughs> shit, we got these back here. We're still in." Yeah, it's yeah, a, it a bonus to them to remind them. What's weird is when you upload these songs onto like you know CD Baby Distro Kid or whatever, you have to just add bonus track yourself. There's no like checkbox. <laughs> you know. So what the fuck? What Only time I understand a bonus go, track yeah. is when I see people do it like on Bandcamp. So they'll put out like a full album on iTunes, but it won't have the, you know, won't have the two songs on there. And then you go to their band camp and it'll have the two songs on there. Then it's bonus. You know what a bonus track used to be? Bonus track used to be like a hidden track on a project. Yeah. The song would be 10 minutes and you have to wait yeah. like a minute of dead air. Yeah. And and like, oh, like it's another nice song. Track. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, or like it'd be like, or it'd be on some, song. it'd be on some prints, some CDs yeah. that would have the exactly. bonus on mm-hmm. some way. Not yeah, on all streaming. But now, 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 if you just put it out on streaming and you don't have physical copies, like you sell physical copies later, it's not like they're just printed. Yeah. 
I'm how's it a bonus next track? Project, what I'm is bonus about it? My next project, every bonus? song's gonna be bonus track. A bonus yeah, track, is Johnny. Bonus, bonus, bonus. <laughs> every bonus. song. I feel like I feel like if you wanted to, <laughs> <laughs> every song, <laughs> and you just name it. Fuck you, Walko. <laughs> <laughs> bonus track. But no, like if you wanted to do a bonus track for streaming, I feel like you'd have to do like if somebody purchases the project, then they get like a link to download an extra song. Mm. But that's the only way you can get to that song. Yeah, yeah. Like it's exclusive. That's a bonus track. Come yeah. on, man! Don't give Kanye West ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that's intellectual property of not your man's. Yo, facts. Fuck you, Kanye. How, don't you we'll dare sue. bring this to the choir. We'll sue. <laughs> facts. Right I know several Jews. <laughs> Yo, to sue Kanye, We're anyone really would want to. Anyone would want to do that. You kidding me? That nigga got money. I got are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm here for that. But um yeah, that's all we got, man. That's all the that's all the projects we got for the for the week. And that's that's pretty much it. 